Okay, so take a good look at this man. Local deputies say he's a contractor accused of ripping off customers, and now they want to speak with anyone who believes they were also affected. Today, we spoke with a woman who says 49-year-old Brandon Keith Franklin took thousands of dollars from her but didn't do the work. Reports say he was a contractor for Summit Outdoors Incorporated out of St. Johns County. The sheriff's office says he posed as a licensed contractor and is associated with several business names. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live from the St. Johns County Jail. Marilyn, authorities want people who may be a victim to come forward. Yes, and we spoke with a woman who actually helped put Brandon Franklin behind a bar. She says she lost thousands of dollars, $71,000 to be exact, dealing with this man, and she just doesn't think she's going to get that money back. Here's the vision for Courtney Scott's St. John's County home. We wanted an outdoor summer kitchen that um, was covered. She came across 49-year-old Brandon Keith Franklin. According to SunBiz, Franklin is the registered agent for Summit Outdoors Incorporated. He was very charismatic. He was um, very confident that he could deliver what we were wanting. In September, Franklin needed 20% to buy materials. That's about 28 k Then in November, he came back needing an additional 30%, and that's 50% just to start the project. Did that stand out to you at all? So to us, that sounded reasonable at the time, and uh, we agreed to it. Better Business Bureau Representative Tom Stevens says that's way too much money for such a big project. Uh, our um, sort of mantra has always been that you don't pay more than a third, and then a third as the job progresses, and then a third when the job is finished. And just as work started, it came to a stop. This order from the county says the work violated the provisions of Florida building codes. There were no permits for the work because county officials say Franklin wasn't a licensed contractor and they were familiar with his antics. Scott dug deeper and learned Franklin was on probation for contractor fraud. So I knew at that point that we were in big trouble. We had given him a large sum of money. Um, I knew that that money was probably already gone. Scott sent this letter to Summit Outdoors demanding a refund. 30 days went by, then she got police involved. I, I never, ever wanted it to come to criminal charges. I just wanted our job to be done. Now, tips from the Better Business Bureau include if you are going to contract with someone, ask for their license on the very first day. And also, don't just trust word of mouth from neighbors. Do your own research and really dig in to find out who it is you're dealing with. This person, uh, Brandon Franklin, goes under many different names and businesses. So if you are a victim, you're asked to contact the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office. We're live in St. Johns County, Maryland Parker Channel 4, the local station.